Hello, welcome to this week's edition of uh, MMA News. Um, and um, this is uh, once again a very impressive week, both the fight that we had that we're coming off of and the fight that's going on um, this weekend. Um, well, first off, the fight that major fight that happened was UFC 99 in. Uh, in which you had the main event, um, Wendelay Silva versus Rich Franklin, and it was a close decision that really should have gone to, uh, Silva, but ended up going to Franklin, so, um, so you had that. You also had the rise of, you also had the uh, major fight of a rising star, Cain Velasquez, go against uh, Czech Congo, who's been a veteran, but he's never quite been the best guy out there. I'm not even sure if he's been ranked as a top, top ten at one point. May have been when he upset him. Uh, when he upset um, Mirko Krokop, but that's another matter. So anyways, they went at it, and... Um, I've never seen Cain Velasquez fight. Um, I've heard that he's done better, but um, in my opinion, this was a pretty good fight because he just went out there and dominated Congo. The only times that he was in trouble was when he was on his feet in the first two rounds. Um, he, you know, he got rocked a little bit, but then he just went for a takedown both times. So it was very fluent didn't have any problems, and, uh, he came out with the decision. Um, there were a couple of other fights, um, Mike Swick winning his Ben Saunders, he had two ultimate fighter alumni, and, um, Swick, um, took him out. Um, he also had a few other fights, but, um, the most notable fight for me was that stuck out the most in my mind was the Spencer Fisher versus Cal Uno fight. And the reason why this sticks out the most was because, um, I think Uno got robbed. It was, he clearly won all three rounds and they gave the fight to Fisher. It's, to me, it's like, it's Biz being, you know, to me it's Biz being, um, uh, Hamill all over again. And, you know, I originally thought that, you know, the only reason why they scored it that way was because it was in England. But then I go on to figure out that the only English judge out of the three scored it for Hamill. So, you had that, you know, that ha you had that whole thing. So, um, yeah, you had a few more other fights, but uh, I don't, they weren't, uh, they obviously weren't that big. Um, so, yeah, you, um, it was, it was overall a good card, and, um, I liked it because it was actually, it was actually broadcast at 12 in the, at noon, because it was being broadcast in Germany, so that's the first time I've seen it in the middle of the day, which to me was more convenient, because I got stuff I had stuff going on later in the day, so, you had that, um, another event that's less noteworthy is that you had Adrenaline MMA 3, and the reason why it's noteworthy is this because you had Tim Sylvia go against almost 50-year-old boxer Ray Mercer, now, it's notable because it was really going to be a boxing match, but then the American Boxing Association stepped in and said, you're not handling this properly, so they ended up having to switch it to um, uh, MMA. And, um, obviously, Sylvia, he, this is his first fight since coming off of a loss of, to Fedor Emelianenko. And, um... Ray Mercer's only MMA experience was that of a uh, exhibition match against Kimbo Slice that he lost by rear naked choke. That's been that was Kimbo's only win by submission. So, and they went in, in there and within the first, it I'm not even sure if it lasted ten seconds. It was like the first 
within the first 15 seconds of the fight, Sylvie got knocked out. It's pathetic. It was so pathetic, in fact, that Sylvia is no longer a top 10 heavyweight. And he shouldn't be. He's lost... This is now his fourth out of his his fourth loss in five fights, and that only win of those last five fights was against a guy who's now fighting at light heavyweight, Brandon Vera. Since he's lost to three top ten heavyweights, he lost to Randy Couture, that was the first one, then to Antonio Rodrigo Nogueira, then uh, Fedor, and now a 50-year-old, um, you know, late 40s boxer, Ray Mercer. So, he's out, and um, as a result of Cain Velasquez's um, uh, performance, he's now in the top 10. So, you have a bunch of rising stars now in the top 10, along with the usual veterans. So, that's that. Um, major cards going on this weekend is you have the Ultimate Fighter finale. Um, it's, you know, it started out Team Britain versus, or Team U.S. versus Team U.K. Um, the lightweight finale has already been decided it's going to be a U.K. fighter, um, because both U.K., both U.K., then, um, the welterweight finale is a U.S. versus U.K., so, um, we'll see if Henderson's, um, boy can make it. Um... You got, so you got that. You've also got, um, the, uh, main event, Diego Sanchez versus Clay Guida. And, um, this is major because Sanchez, obviously, he's moved down the lightweight. And then you got Guida, who's been down there, and he's won and he's either won or lost all the time. Also, another lightweight bout, you got Joe Stevenson versus Nate Diaz. Stevenson's got a problem. He was the guy who ended up welcoming Sanchez to the division and welcomed him with the win. And then you got Nate Diaz, who actually lost to Guida a while ago. It's been only one of his two losses in the UFC. So um, here you are. You know, Stevenson's got to win. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. If he wants to stay in the UFC, he's got to win, or else he, or else he might as well be looking for a job in strike, you know, in strike force dream. Well, it's like if he loses, he might as well start looking for a job somewhere else, because it's not gonna, he's not gonna be a viable, very viable in the UFC, and um, you know, people have been cut for less, so. So it's do or die, and then um, let's see. Other fights include. Let's see if we can find any. I'm not sure if I can find any. They're they're in there somewhere. Oh well, you got some. You got some undercard. I think Chris Lytle is fighting, and then you also have um, some of the guys who are on the show. They're fighting too. So, um, oh yeah, another um, thing that's notable is that you've got um, the this independent ultimate chaos card. Well, let's see what the, it's. Um, yeah, it's this independent ultimate chaos card in which you got Bob Sapp fighting against Bobby Lashley, and, um, Lashley's been picking apart minor fighters up to this point, Bob Sapp is his first major competition, then you got, um, uh, Gilbert Yevo, Pedro Hizo fighting for, um, a spot against Paul Buentella on the Affliction card, because Tim Sylvia, with his, uh, recent knockout loss, it got dropped, also, noble names, Chris, Chris Horwick, Tom Tessio, and Brett Cooper, so, um, uh, that's it for now, um, uh, thank you.